Let's get ready to rumble! We're never going to find Jasper. Hate to be a broken record here, but I really find it hard to believe that Garnet didn't even try to use Future Vision once while they were out. We found Jasper! You didn't really find her. She found you, if anything. You want to come watch me train? Can't. I'm busy making egg salad. Also, why does Pearl need a fanny pack? She has a gem that can store literally anything. Last week, I got these. There is no way those things fit in the Pearl prize pouch. Dodge the spears the best you can. I am 99% certain that Steven just cheated. This exercise is meant to test agility, not blocking. That's just blatantly unfair against Amethyst, who has no way to reliably block things. And the fact that he won because of it is honestly ridiculous. Whoa. Whoa, he used that weapon he's used dozens of times. That's so impressive. Don't go too easy on him. He still needs a challenge. How can Pearl not tell how upset Amethyst is here? Look at her face. It's not exactly subtle. The hollow pearls are thrown in all directions here, but then in the next shot, they conveniently line up next to each other. Also, look at how lightly this shield taps these hollow pearls, and yet they still die. I know Pearl's going easy on Steven, but come on, this is going a little too far. Look at this. Steven looks over at Amethyst, his face drops, he clearly looks concerned. But somehow, Pearl either doesn't notice or doesn't care. Pearl is a lot smarter and better at picking up emotions than this. Why are they writing her to be so oblivious? How did that fit in the pouch? At this point, it would have made infinitely more sense if she just used her gem. This must be an absolute garbage heap of a fighting game if it's on the GameCube and it only has five characters in it. Even if there are unlockable characters, that's still pitiful. What great video game playing, spamming the B button and left on the D-pad. That was crazy good, Amethyst. Nice job. God, you couldn't have at least tried to make that bit of praise not sound fake. This controller's logo says Dolphin in this shot, but then in this shot, it says Sumi. You have two whips. Two whips! Can't everyone on the team summon infinite copies of their weapon? Hell, Steven summons two shields in the previous episode. It's not exactly unique. I'll prove it! I'll- I'll fight you! Where the fuck did that come from? This declaration is so random and out of left field that it kind of derails this whole scene in my eyes. Think about it. Instead of having Steven do what he does best and talk Amethyst down from these toxic thoughts, his first instinct after hearing all this is to fight her? That sounds a bit out of character for him. And it gives this episode a think of a concept first and write the whole episode around it vibe that does not fit the rest of the show at all. Seriously, the the writing for this episode feels like they started with Steven and Amethyst fight scene and went from there. It's so jarring. And it's especially egregious when you remember that Pearl was specifically written in a way that made her both actively ignore Amethyst's feelings and not get involved in any way just so that it could escalate to this point. It all just feels wrong and it's a significant step down in writing quality compared to last episode. Don't get me wrong, I like Amethyst's arc here and I think Amethyst herself is handled really well. It just it just feels like Steven and Pearl were written to be very unlike themselves just to serve a plot that wouldn't have happened otherwise. That thing was huge. How is there so little rubble here? Don't say also, if that shield was sharp enough to cut through a solid rock pillar, then how did it not cut Amethyst's head open? Maybe she's harder to cut than that rock and so it just banged against her head? But then wouldn't the pillar have done very little to her, thus making the gesture kinda pointless? See? I dropped you from the sky, but you almost just won using a rock! There is no chance in hell that would have poofed her, considering that Steven survived like eight of those things falling on top of him. He is a diamond, but he's only half diamond. I still don't think he'd be as durable. Also, the stars on Amethyst's knees are colored purple in this shot instead of being the same color as her shoes. <sighs> I can't even be the one thing I'm supposed to be, you know? Of course I do. I'm 
not rose quartz. Oh, no. Oh, Steven. I really like this little scene. It just feels like a nice, kind of wholesome chat between two siblings that are really troubled in similar ways. It's stuff like this that makes these characters feel like real people more than just bundles of personality traits. You ruined the ruins! They look almost completely the same. I don't think we're gonna see that prize pouch for a while.